Just 
just six points. Six points. And Ipswich are also now just six points away. Southampton though, they are still, they lost at home, a bit of a short result to Millwall, meaning they're 11 points behind Leicester, so again you're thinking, okay, Southampton, they're not catching them, but, you know, Leicester now are in a little bit of danger, I mean, they should be okay, get themselves back on track, back to back defeats, sort themselves out and they're fine. So after back to back defeats, Leicester then go ahead and make it three defeats in a row by losing at home to QPR. Fighting for their lives at the bottom And now Now you're like, okay, you're panicking You're panicking if you are a Leicester fan Luckily Luckily For Leicester, Leeds Did not capitalise Leeds Actually um, Drew to Huddersfield, who also a relegation spot But Ipswich did Ipswich beat Plymouth Ipswich beat Plymouth while Southampton won their game Meaning now Switch down in just the space of three weeks, three games. It took three games. Leicester had a ten point lead cut down to three points. And even Southampton now are eight points away. So if we go to the next game, the next game, Leicester did finally, finally win. Finally get themselves back on track, but it switch and lead also won as well, so it didn't mean much, as did Southampton. The next week, Leeds won, Ipswich lost to Cardiff, meaning Leeds now took over um, Ipswich, while Leicester drew at Hull, so more drop points from Leicester. Southampton won as well, and now this, now, now you're getting excited because Leeds Leeds are now three points away, Ipswich are four points away, and Southampton are just six points away. So now we do have a tight race on our hands, but Leicester are still in control. Um, Leicester Southampton match was rescheduled here because for the FA Cup, but with this game in hand, this then piled more pressure on Leicester because Leeds beat Millwall and Ipswich. Smash Sheffield Wednesday 6 0, meaning that even though they did play a game in hand, Leeds were now on top. And bear in mind, just six game weeks ago, Leeds were 12 points, 12 points away from Leicester, and they are now on top. So, in the next week, Leicester then lost again, this time to Bristol City. Well, Leeds drew. And Ipswich then beat Blackburn and Southampton drew. So this was a massive week for Ipswich because Ipswich now went top. Leicester were now in third place. An absolute collapse by them. An absolute collapse. But this is then where things get crazy. Because at this point, at this point, Leicester have their game in hand. Leicester have kind of bottled it, but actually I want to skip to where Leicester play that game in hand, um, oh, sorry, uh, just like that, yeah, okay, so, let's go to game week 40, so game week 40, Leicester did beat Norwich, which was massive, Leeds won as well, but Ipswich beat Southampton, so now you're thinking, okay, Southampton are done, they are Southampton are not out of this. Southampton, they're finished. This is a free horse race now. That was the general consensus. But then what happened here in the last few games has been nothing short of insane because if I show you, if I fell to the table by the last five matches, as you can see, Southampton are in second lock. They have won three, drawn one, and lost just once in their last five games. Ipswich are in fifth, which is a decent record of two wins, two draws, one loss, but not the best. And look at this, Leicester are in 15th place, two wins and three losses. While Leeds have just one win, two draws and two losses in their last five. Absolutely insane. 
interesting. So, uh, Leeds face Middlesbrough. Leeds face Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough away, which is a tough, tough game. And that is an 8pm on April the 22nd. So actually, they don't all play on Saturday. They don't all play on Saturday. Um, it's kind of spread out there on a Monday night. So, at this point, Leicester might have lost to West Brom. Leeds might know that, okay, if we win, we might go top. The pressure's on the Middlesbrough. Or, oh, on a little bit of a resurgence, actually. They're playing really
not as bad as last release. Like their form is still okay. Like they've been drawing games. They haven't like been losing games. They've just been drawing. So I think Ipswich will win the league, which is a monumental achievement, by the way, for them to be competing with these three because these three just got relegated in the last season. Meanwhile, Israel have just been promoted from League One. So fantastic for them. So I think Ipswich are going top. And then, oh god, it's tight. I actually think, see, I don't think Southampton are going to beat Leicester. I don't think they're going to beat them away from home. That's a tough ask. That's a tough, tough ask. I think it'll end a draw. So I don't think it'll be Southampton. I don't think it'll be Southampton. Based on that, Leicester with that game in hand, getting a draw in that, I think Leeds will slip up in one of their games meaning that if Leicester you know, get a point or at least beat Southampton which I think they could do in that game of hand I think they're fine so I think it's gonna actually end Ipswich first Leicester second and you know what Southampton first leads fourth but honestly guys this could end in any order four teams two spots for promotion nobody seems like they want it they're all bottling it yeah, it's absolutely crazy, um, and the teams are facing each other at the final day of the season, Southampton Leeds and Southampton and Leicester are still facing each other, so, guys, tune into the championship, if you have some time, it's gonna be fireworks, it's gonna be fireworks, I'll be looking out for it, of course, if you watch the championship on a regular basis, let me know your thoughts, by the way, at the bottom end of the table as well, look how tight it is here, I mean, this is just the championship in a nutshell. Look at this, 17th to 23rd. There's only five points separating them. Any of these teams could go down. So, yeah, make sure to watch the championship. It's entertaining, it's fun, and we've got three games left. And it's sure to be fantastic. Let me know 